And guess where we're going? We're going to Mexico. We're headed to Cancun. Um, at the airport now, headed to our gate. This is gonna be a very exciting trip. It's gonna be more on the lines of like just working out all the fun activities and stuff. So Sid and I are very, very excited. Yeah, tennis courts. Tennis courts, all of that. So let's get into it. Here we are in our final descent. I do need everyone to please remain seated with their seatbelt slightly fastened. Once again, please remain seated with your seatbelt slightly fastened as we're in our final descent. It is no longer safe to move about the cabin at this time. head over to the gym just get a little bit of movement in so let's go get a little workout in yeah made it to dinner. We are eating at a place called Hunter's, which is a steakhouse. I love some good steak. Um, really excited for it. And look who we have here. We're hungry. We're starving Marvin. So we're gonna get to order and order an appetizer, some entrees, have some good food. Love me some bread, baby. There's the other guy. We have a wedge salad. What'd you get, babe? Citrus salad. Good morning, you guys. I've got my coffee. We are headed down. Treadmill runs the past two days. Gotta love them. <laughs> is complete six miles at a 729 mile pace treadmill getting it done with a beautiful view and this one over here back up in the room I am drinking my greens can't miss a day can't miss a day we're getting ready we're gonna go down grab some breakfast and then we're gonna sit by the pool for a little bit it's such a nice day out i mean i think it's probably like 75 degrees the wind is kind of kicking it doesn't get better than this uh, 
I mean, just how nice. It's such a gorgeous day out. Lunch time. Look at this view. That one right there. <laughs> Be our running joke. <laughs> I know. At a place Italian. called Grazi, Italian place. We both got Margarita pizza. Wait, uh, what kind of pizza did you starter. get? We got salads for a starter and then we got some pizzas. She got a margarita pizza and I got something else with some meat on it, but excited to eat. We are starving more of and some kind of took it out of us. We're tired. I thought our starter was a salad, but this came out. I guess I didn't know what a caprese salad was. We got tomato, mozzarella, and whatever that is. Let's eat. Bon appetit. We got back from the sauna, and now Sydney and I, we are headed to go play some pickleball. I'll be go ahead to beat Sydney and pickleball. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, your glasses. But we're ready to play pickleball now, and then we've got dinner reservations at six o'clock. So let's sushi. go do it. I'm gonna grab some clips of my star performance <laughs> with pickleball. All of our courts are taken. So sport number two. Basketball. Sid. 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 Sid's done. Basketball. No, You're not so scoring ones, so but. You're okay. Look at that. She a ball player. Outfit for tonight, cozy, comfy, tropical, the vibes are there, linen pants, loafers, comfy shirt, love it, and matching my vibe, going comfy as well. I almost wear heels, but... We're grabbing sushi tonight. The reservation is at 6, it is 5.43, and we're right on time, right on time. I'm excited for some sushi. Sushi. Oh, you have a selection. Wind's kind of kicking, but it's like 70 degrees. It's so beautiful. We're about to go grab breakfast and then we're gonna knock out a workout. I've got four miles this morning on the treadmill again. Gotta love it. So our go-to pre-workout meal while being here has been toast, peanut butter, and banana. It's been perfect energizing fuels me right and then we do a side of coffee waiting on that with some water Mile 
102 and look who joined. So Sid's going to do 0.5 run and then or 0.5 jog and then 0.5 walk. So my final two miles, she's got two sets of the jog and then run. a good food sauna session later I'm excited we are at lunch we came back to the same place it's called Grazi I don't know if you guys can see that but this view you just can't beat it so nice and it's like this one right here you can't oh. beat this one <laughs> you yeah, gonna hear that 10 times in this vlog running joke. It's a running joke. But yeah, um, and the food is so good. Everyone's been so great to us. So 10 out of 10. We're yes, extremely happy. I know, I One margarita. One margarita. I get da, 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 da. The vibes are vibing. Wow, that is good. So you want to try? Yeah, I mean, just a sip. Sydney's drinking, y'all. <laughs> One margarita. You know margaritas are my favorite. Right. Mm -hmm. So the trick when I get a margarita. So good. I don't like the margarita mix that they always put in it. It's just way too sweet and sour for me. So have them squeeze fresh lime juice in it with just like a pinch of salt. And then with uh, tequila and all, I mean, it's 10 out of 10. It's healthier, it's better, very good. Margarita, pina, pina colada. colada. How is it? Fire? So good. You gotta try it. Yep. Oh my gosh. Do you need to move my hands? Okay, go for it. <laughs> Black pepper, madam? Yes. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Enjoy, family. I'll leave it here to you in case you want to add more. Yes, sir. Thank you. Pizza time. Pepperoni. Um, and we have some mushrooms on there as well. Dessert at 1245 p.m. And that's vacation. Then that's on vacation. Beach day. Catch a vibe, baby. sauna so sauna is essential for me no matter where I'm at I will find a sauna and get my session in um, I personally like to do 25 minutes I wouldn't suggest doing 25 if you were new to it maybe start off with 5 10 15 but over time I've been able to work up to 25 and this is just something I do daily um, it allows me to you know get more of a sweat there's so many benefits to it so if you have a sauna near you and you have access to one, start doing it. Like I said, start off slow, but like slowly work your way up.
Outfit. Outfit. Dinner time. Vibes. Where are we eating at tonight? We're eating at Agave. Agave. Mexican, Mexican cuisine. Mm -hmm. And I am excited. So let's do, let's do this. Let's do it. Vibe. Here's our vibe tonight, baby. I'm actually so excited for um, some Mexican food. I can't believe that we were almost not going to do this. I know. But we almost said like, oh yeah, let's just do what we did last night. But very excited for this. We got water right now. We've got skinny marg on the way. Skinny marg on the way. I know, maybe I'll get a mocktail. Yeah. Cheers, baby. Skinny marg, baby. <laughs> Guys, be careful. This is very okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Those guys, be careful, okay? Will do. Thank you. Perfect. I never tried this one last night, I don't think. It's so good, isn't it? Wow. Yummy. Yo, I am also gluten free now. <laughs> like, and I'm actually going to talk about this when we get back to the room. Yeah. It is Saturday. It's 10.30 in the morning. We just finished up some breakfast. We're at the gym now. Saturday's our long run, so we have 10 miles on the tread. 10 miles. I'm gonna try to do it in under an hour, if not just a bit over, but just wanna knock this out, so let's jump into it. We're about to hit our five mile mark on the 10 miles, which is gonna be halfway. I'm holding a 7.30 pace extremely bored so I think for these next five I'm gonna turn it up a notch and go like 715 to 7. 10 miles complete. Took us an hour and 14 minutes that put us at a 727 mile pace. Pretty good. I get you know the question a lot like what would be my advice for somebody that's trying to Start up running. Um, the way I started in these last three days of running on, the, on a treadmill, it kind of reminded me. The treadmill is where I started. Um, I would say about a year ago, I hurt my back and then I started to like biking. That's the only thing I could do to sweat. And then slowly but surely, I was able to get on the treadmill. So I was walking on the treadmill and then I wanted to kind of, you know, ramp it up a little bit. So what I would do is I would go like five minutes running at a specific speed and then five minutes walking. And for like my cardio days, I would set, you know, these specific sets. So I would go like, I'm going to go six sets of five minute runs and five minute walkings. And then I would do six sets of that. And that would be my cardio for the day. And then after a few weeks of doing that, I would go 10 minutes running, five minute walk, and then just kind of like stay there. And that kind of was able to build my stamina and just kind of get me very comfortable with running. And then I slowly transitioned to outside. Uh, Sydney and I were about to go grab some lunch. Very excited. Yesterday we had a phenomenal lunch. Um, they gave us like a salmon salad, had some great gluten-free pizza, and I'm just very, it was so good. I'm so excited for it today. Um, but touching on that a little bit, I know last night I told you guys that I was going to kind of touch on why I've decided to slowly back off of gluten and the entire thing really came from Sid. Um, she's been gluten-free for, what would you say, how many months now? I'd probably say like seven months. About seven months now. The difference it's made for her has been extraordinary. Like she's literally, it's, it's mainly just like the inflammation, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. Inflammation, like her stomach never hurts after she eats anymore. And just kind of seeing the way that it's changed her body and the way she feels after she eats, it's been a huge influence on why like I'm deciding now to slowly back off of it. Um, it's not anything that, you know, I feel like I can do overnight just because I do still enjoy like, you know, certain breads and, you know, certain 
dishes and stuff, but like slowly just weeding those out of my life, I think is the best way to go. Um, when you try to do things just like, you know, at the snap of a finger, you more than likely just kind of fall back into it eventually. So slowly getting away from it is just better in my opinion. It's time. It does look good. Pizza is done, and now we are on to our salmon salads. How is it? So freaking good. Love it? Even better than yesterday somehow. No. Haven't missed dessert for any meal. Sorbet, and then what's this called? Tiramisu. 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 I don't think I've ever had it. Did I say it right? It looks good, tiramisu. Yeah. We are getting a couple's massage. This is my first time doing a couple's, first time doing a couple's massage. And you know, sitting down in this thing is, um, this is like an extra small. And it was, you know, I had to be a lot careful, not a little, a lot careful sitting down in this thing. <laughs> massage was phenomenal. Phenomenal. That was my second massage ever. First couple's massage, obviously. Sydney has done one other couple massage, but it was with her mom.